Okay, going along with my short videos that show what might be kind of obvious, but you know, like how do my guys scream out of keto chow and how to heat up keto chow in the microwave. Okay, when you go out to dinner or something like that, I don't know if you ever have this problem where the waiter or waitress brings you your a diet drink and you're like, I don't know if this is really diet or not. And uh, on the internet, there's a lot of information about how you can use, well, glucose strips, either blood glucose or urine glucose strips to test to see if the soda actually has sugar in it or not. So let's do it. We're gonna test, in this case, we've got apple juice, we've got diet twist up, and we've got regular twist up. And I've got um, diastics, which are urine test strips for testing out to see if your urine has glucose in it, because that's one of the hallmarks of diabetes. Um, these are the diastics. They also have keto diastics, or keto sticks diastics that test glucose and ketones. Um, these are just the ones that test glucose. And then I went to Walmart and got the $9 blood glucose meter because the keto mojo that I had wouldn't test. It, it just errored out. And I got the uh, $5 package of uh, 25 glucose strips. So let's do this. Okay, so we got three of the dia sticks and they got this nice handy graph on the side. Um, you can actually cut these in half if you really want to, um, the lengthwise so that you can use them hmm, more times. So I'm just, I've got the apple juice, the diet soda, and the regular soda here. So I'm just gonna dip it in there, shake it off, set it down, dip it in there, shake it off, set it down, and dip it in there, shake it off, and set it down. And after a couple seconds, well, they start to change color pretty quickly. And the ones that are not diet, well, they get dark really fast, and they will continue to get darker and darker and darker as time goes on. Whereas the one that's diet stays the same color. Um, in a restaurant, this actually right here is a little bit easier to test. You can throw these into a, a Ziploc bag. You don't want to expose them to oxygen and water. Um, there's actually even, I don't know if you can see it, there's a uh, desiccant packet inside of there to dry it out and to absorb oxygen. Um, but if you look at them now, it's really obvious which one has the glucose. So, <laughs> not diet, diet, not diet. Um, and I've seen um, people online who, they go to a restaurant, they taste the soda, or in this case, like Diet Coke. Um, and they're like, this, this is not diet. They go and talk to the manager, and the manager's like, oh, no, it's totally diet. And then they check the box, and somebody hooked the wrong box, the non-diet soda, up to the diet soda. Um, some people, that's actually life-threatening. For me, it's just metabolically threatening. I'm, you know, whatever. Anyway, so that is the, the, the dipsticks. So let's do the blood glucose strips now. Like I said, the, it was $5 for 25 of these. Um, cheapest one I could find. Oddly enough, the more expensive um, glucose monitors, actually, it, this doesn't work. They're too smart and they error out. So I'm gonna take this, stick it in there. And you don't wanna dip it right into it. You just want to get your finger wet, touch it to the end. Four hundred and twelve milligrams per deciliter. If your blood said that, you would be diabetic. That's really, really bad. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a different finger. So this is the diet soda. Low. Earlier when I did this test, it said twenty-three which if your blood said 23, 
you would be uh, uh, hypoglycemic and probably passed out about to die. So that is clearly diet soda. Now, oh, I think that's the one I already used. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, here we got apple juice, right? Nice, good, healthy apple juice, right? 320. Clearly, that one is, as well is not uh, diet. It has sugar in it um, or sucrose to be specific, fructose and uh, glucose. Anyway, yeah, that right there would be no bueno on a ketogenic diet. So you could also, you know, this right here, that's easy enough to take. This right here isn't bad either. Uh, if you're a lady, you could throw it in your purse. If you're diabetic, you might have one of these anyway. Um, so it's really easy to check your drink. So there you go. How to tell if your soda is actually diet soda or not.